Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. We've got a few things to show you in this video. I'm so excited to be doing, it feels like I'm doing just all wine diaries and makeup lately, but I'm so much more than that in real life. No, I'm not. Wine diaries, makeup, yoga clothes, books. Yeah. And Mr. Griffin, my favorite puppy neighbor, is over visiting again. So I'm so excited that he's here. He's such a good boy. He's such a good boy. Mwah! Yeah, he's a good boy. I love having Mr. Griffin here. Hi everyone, welcome to Nancy's Friday night, and it's another episode of Nancy's Wine Diaries. Yeah, I'm having fun with these wine diaries. So much fun. But anyway, I have got this subscription that I wanted to share with you, and I did the countdown to Valentine's with uh, my first subscription box from them, which was the Wine and Kisses Valentine Wishes. And this is from Sip and Savor Wines. And I had first uh, found them uh, when I was starting to look for some Christmas advent calendars and I noticed that they had a Hallid, not a Hallentine, but a Halloween one. And so that was like my first box from them and I fell in love with just the, the bottles, the design, just the names of the wines and things that they had on. It was just really, really fun. And so I bought that one and then I got the one from Hall for Christmas and then I got the countdown to New Year's from them as well. And then afterwards I noticed on their website that they had a Valentine's box and I was like, oh, do I want to do I not want to? And then I noticed that, oh, you can get the single pour subscription box for $59 um, every two months and those same boxes that I'd been paying a little bit more for are in there for $59 if I'm in the subscription. So I, it was like a no-brainer, right? So my first box from them was the January box, which was the a Valentine box. Had so much fun with that. Did the countdown to Valentine's. It was so much fun. So the spring box is out and it's called Blooms and Blossoms. And I think probably it's gonna be the same every year, but I'm not sure. So these are just uh, 12 single pour bottles. Well, actually it's, for me it's, it's like two or three glasses that are in each bottle, but they just all have kinds of flowers on them and springtime things. And so you're gonna get six different varieties of wine in here. So this one has um, two Chardonnays, two Rosés, two Pinot Noirs, two Sauvignon Blancs, uh, two Moscatos and two Pinot Grigios. And again, it's uh, for $59. The subscription comes every two months. I really don't remember if there's, I have a link or not for you, but if not, I will definitely leave the website if this is something you're interested in. Um, and again, so I probably picked one that's not gonna show up too well. Just the color, so this is the size of it. 187 milliliters and it's just, it's just, uh, fun and of course I love Moscato so I'm getting into tasting the different wines and just appreciating and just taste testing and seeing if I can guess the flavors that are in there and for me it's just been a lot of fun doing the countdowns this one I won't be doing a countdown for so you're probably thinking thank goodness she's not doing another countdown but they just uh, will come in handy little screw cap just take what you need for the night and put it away and finish it up another day so it's just really really fun I'm looking forward to seeing what other things that they have so um so this is for my March one so I'll be getting one in May so I'm excited to see what the May one's going to look like so again this is a uh, blooms and blossoms it's a wine sampler from Sip and Savor Wines. And again, I'll leave that link below. It's just super, super fun. Had so much fun with the Halloween Advent calendar and the one for Christmas and the one that we had for the countdown to New Year's. That one was all the sparkling wines. And then the one I just did for Valentine's was just, it was just a lot of fun. But anyway, one of my favorite wineries that's local to me. I've only been to a couple. There's a lot more around here than you would think. But um, when we first moved to Forest Lake back in 98, from we'd moved from Rhode Island to Minnesota, 
And so every weekend or something, we would just kind of load Sir Stetson and Lady Penelope over little Britney's in the back of the blazer or whatever. We would just kind of go exploring to see what was in the area. And one thing that we found, it was like the next town over from us, Chisago City. And I had the heck of a time saying that because I just kept wanting to say Chicago. Chisago just seemed like such an impossible word to say. But there was a little winery there and um, they were just basically starting out I think back in 98 and it was like in a little addition onto their garage and just a real small shop and they had some homemade wines and you could do some tastings there um, because they made honey wine they also had like honey that you could buy there and different jams and jellies and things like that and it was just just a really fun place to stop going for a ride and spending a few minutes there and that was when we fell in love with the honey wine love the honey wine they used to have two different kinds back then so they had one that was really kind of sweet and then they had one that was on the drier side now they've kind of mixed those ones together but it's still really really good so anyway every now and then like whenever people come would come to visit like when Rainer and Sabrina come out here we always always make it a habit to stop there like I said back in 98 it was just a, a little addition onto the garage and they had built a pole barn which out here people call them pole barns and it's like this metal building or whatever and they go up really wicked fast and they had one of those and then they enlarged that because they just kept growing and coming up with more wines and as they started winning more and more ribbons more people got to know them well now they have a beautiful beautiful building they host weddings and all kinds of events like this and just that beautiful building right there but their shop is really big inside now to offer more things that they make and like different wine glasses and soaps and things like that just a really nice gift gift shop so if you go there and you're with people that don't like wine but they're like little knickknacky type things like that then it just gives them something to do all kinds of events I mean like just about every weekend they've got food trucks and things out there so that you can buy some things or they have charcuterie boards and things so when it's nice you can kind of have your flight of wine and sit outside look at the uh, lake out there and the wine vineyards and just it's it's like just perfect but anyway so every now and then and because I'm on the mailing list of course I don't drive out there too much by myself anymore but it's just really really fun because now we moved away from there or it's like now I'm in another part of Minnesota so it's a little bit longer to get there but it is a nice nice ride love going there but anyway they always have sales online and so they were doing one for March where if you got three bottles you got 25% off and shipping was free so shipping for those three bottles would have been like 17 18 dollars so that right off the bat 25% off three bottles I said yes please uh, so then the tough part was picking three but I did it you know I would do it so this first one I got is and I have I've seen this there before but I have never because I never thought I was going to like peach wine it's just peachy so you know this summer I want to do a kind of a taste testing thing with some peach wines so this is my third bottle of peach wine so that I can do a taste test as we get into some warmer weather I got the one from reclaimed vines that's uh, vanilla and peach flavored and then I forgot but last year I also bought some uh, wines from Stonehouse winery I forgot where that one was but when I do my video I will put it in there and I got one of uh, peach wine from them as well so I have got three peach wines to do a little taste test on so I'm excited for the weather to warm up to do that and then we've got this raspberry wine from them and I know Rick and I probably had this on one of the, the tastings there so I'm probably going back 10 years that we probably would have had this and I can't remember I know I would have loved it obviously right so I got this again just um, to get ready for just some sipping wines for the summer looking forward to that one and then um, I've had this one before too it's a nice red wine it's semi-sweet it's got like some nice cherry flavors um, on the it's still dry but it does it's, it is on the sweeter side this dear garden red and it's from one of their own grapes so what does it tell me about it I think it was in their brochure so let's see what it says so it says the dear garden red it says it's a semi-sweet red wine 
with bright cherry aromas and flavors. It's one of a kind from our patented Chisago grapes grown on the hillsides near Lake Ellen. Like I said, they're right on a, a little lake right there. So when you have your wedding and your outside wedding and your pictures, you've got the vineyards there and the lake behind it. And then of course in the fall, you've got some fall colors. It's just really, really pretty. So anyway, that's the one I'm gonna open. I put this one in the refrigerator earlier this week. So I can share that one with you. And it's just a screw cap. Did I bring my handy dandy thing in here? I did, because it's under my laptop. See if I can do a magician's trick, take it out without making a mess. And it's just, just a fun fun place. They do, we went to uh, one in Stillwater too um, when we first came out here. So I haven't been there in a while, but that was a nice one. Um, I think we went down maybe Red Wing area. They had a really nice winery there too. It's just fun going to little local shops and supporting these local wineries and just really fun. So oh, this is such a really pretty like a rich burgundy color. Really pretty. It smells, you can smell the cherry, you can just smell the grapes, the wine heaven in a glass and I've got my glass that says I enjoy going for long romantic walks down the wine aisle so cheers everyone happy Friday night mm. so this one I know they say semi-sweet to me this one is sweeter this time I think I've had other batches that weren't as sweet but this one is sweet it's like a soda soda sweet if that makes sense. It just um, like an, a really nice fruit punch or something with a little bit of carbonation, but it really tastes really good. Mm. So, so good. So anyway, that's it for my wine diaries tonight. I'm not making any special treats. I think I'm probably going to order a pizza, or maybe some chicken to go with it or something. But I just want to thank you guys so much for stopping in, spending some time with me. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you have a favorite winery that you know ships out of state, I would love to hear about them. And it might be something that I would love to try some of their wines, what they're famous for or what your favorites are. I'm just really looking forward to it. I just cannot, you know, I'm, I'm not going to drink this whole thing right away, but I still got those three mailbacks that I want to do and this one. And I've, I'm working on my wink bottle, that second box to kind of film and put that together. And I've only had two of those bottles so far, so I got two to go. But anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for stopping in. You guys. You guys rock. I appreciate you so much and I can't wait to talk to you again and see you guys soon. I hope you all go out. Have a fantastic weekend, everyone. Love you guys. Chat soon. Bye-bye.